Hey everyone, um, watching the storm develop, we thought it would be good for you to hear from your pastors. So you're gonna get me first and then um, you'll be hearing from pastor later on. But um, you know, I wanted to hit on some things, three things, fear, wisdom, and faith. And um, these are always important in life, but they're super important when we're looking at um, big events or um, something that has potential to be dangerous or or um, or whatever. But I think this qualifies for that. Um, so fear, um, we have to recognize that fear is not our friend. <laughs> okay, it's not our friend. Um, fear distorts things and fear paralyzes. And that's not what we need at all. In 2 Timothy 1.7, it says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. That's what God has to say about fear, that he doesn't give us fear. He gives us love, power, and a sound mind. And um, in times like this, something that stands out to me more in that scripture than maybe at other times um, is a sound mind that it's super important and it's um it's a choice we make you know we are able to have a sound mind when things are difficult and in pressured situations and in uncertain times because god says we can <laughs> so he's enabled us to do it and um and it's something that that i personally choose i i choose to um say no to hysteria <laughs> Um, I say no to drama um, when I feel myself wanting to go that direction or that rising up in me I intentionally just reel it in and say no nope, enough of that that's not helpful and I I will recite that first and just say you know what God's given me um, a spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind and I address things and go forward with things um, in that place of surety and power, um, trusting in God's love and keeping my mind sound and not letting it run off with all these fearful thoughts and worrisome things. And um, it helps. It helps me. It helps the people around me and it helps the situation. So that's a um, beautiful gift that we as Christians can give um, to those around us and ourselves in hard situations. Um, the next thing is wisdom. Wisdom's important in everyday life, in everything we do. Wisdom is really important when um, we're facing something like this. And so when it comes to um, big situations, important situations, um, I'm always going to defer to my authority. I, I do. There's safety in doing that. And um, I'm, I'm going to look to my husband in these times because the Bible says that he's my authority. Um, and I trust God to lead him. Um, and when it comes to making important decisions, um, I look at consequences too. And, um, you know, some decisions we make have little consequences and some decisions we make have great consequences. Um, like if I decide to wear, um, or how about this? If I decide it's raining and, or it could be raining, and I'm like, yeah, I don't think I'll bring my umbrella. Well, if I don't bring it and it rains, I'm going to get wet and that's a bummer, but that's a little consequence. Um, some things have really great consequences and those are things we have to look at and think about and um there are times that it's not the time to chance it um and when consequences are could be great that's not the time to chance it so um you know god tells us to um, honor our authority to listen to our authority and there is great safety in that so that's something that's important and then when it comes to faith, um, just know this, fear 
handicaps our faith. Being foolish handicaps our faith because the Bible has a lot to say about being wise. And once we deal with those two things, um, our faith can really be effective. So I just want to read Psalm 91. Um, it's my favorite um, psalm and portion of scripture. I'm going to read the whole chapter. Uh, when it comes to safety and um, situations where I need to firmly have my trust in God and I don't want to let fear creep in because my God is great. Your God is great and he's greater than a storm. He's greater than anything. His arm's not short to protect us. He can protect us through anything. Um, and so this scripture really um, anchors that truth in my heart. So I'm just going to read this whole chapter real quick here to you and just let this um, really take hold in your heart and let it uproot any fear that would have tried to take hold. So it says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall remain stable and fixed under the shadow of the Almighty, whose power no foe can withstand. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress and my God. On him I lean and rely, and in him I confidently trust. This is the amplified version. It's my favorite version of it. Um, For then he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. Then he will cover you with his pinions, and under his wings you shall find, or you shall trust and find refuge. His truth and his faithfulness are a shield and a buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror of the night, nor of the arrow, the evil plots and slanders of the wicked that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that stalks in darkness, nor of the destruction and sudden death that surprise and lay waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only a spectator shall you be, yourself inaccessible in the secret place of the Most High, as you witness the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your your refuge and the Most High your dwelling place, there shall no evil befall you, nor any plague or calamity come near your tent. For he will give his angels a special charge over you to accompany and defend and preserve you in all your ways of obedience and service. They shall bear you up on their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the adder, and the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. And then the Lord says this, he says, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he knows and understands my name, has a personal knowledge of my mercy, love, and kindness, and trusts and relies on me, knowing I will never forsake him. No, never. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Isn't that great? So we don't have to try to talk God into um, protecting his children. It's his idea. (laughs) He came up with it. It's his will. It's his word. And we can trust in that, that he will be with us in any time of trouble and that he will deliver us. Um, So I just want to pray for you as I sign off here. Um, But just know I love you and um, Pastor loves you. Like I said, you'll be probably hearing from him in a bit. But let me pray for you. Father, right now I just lift up everyone watching this and I just pray for your um, supernatural peace um, to just rest upon their mind and their hearts and their emotions. I just pray, Lord, that a calm and a a sureness and a stillness, um, a confidence in you would just um, rise up within the hearts of everybody listening right now. I just pray, Lord, for your comfort that um, we don't have to fear. And in Jesus' name, fear has to leave. 
I thank you, Lord, you've empowered us um, with love and, and a sound mind, and we can rest and trust in you. So give us the wisdom that we need, Lord, and, and um, just thank you that you always lead and guide your children. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you. Be smart. Trust your God. He's big enough. Um, make wise decisions and don't give in to fear. You just rise up in that place of having a sound mind and do what you need to do in that calm place. It's a place of empowerment and it will make everything better. So I love you.